Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for uh, another drive test this time. So I'm out with um, the Mars RC motorbike. Um, had one of these away, uh, away back from um, another company, but uh, I've just got one of these, two of these from, from China actually, and absolutely fantastic fun because it's not, it's a bit more challenging than just, just driving an RC car. There's quite a knack to the steering. Trev's on camera and he can attest to what I'm saying. Oh, right? Yeah, I definitely agree. You've got to learn how to use these. You can't just do it. You can't. And um, if they fall over, you see you've got these guards on the side, but there's a knack to getting it up on its, up on its wheels again. Yeah. Should you, uh, should you, you go down. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, particularly with the odd puddles that we've got around outside today. Finn's over there, he's, uh, he's got the old one, and the, the, this is brushed, it's a lot cheaper. I'll put the link for this in the video description, but um, over there, Finn has got the, the brushless version. Yeah, so pan and, round. Uh, yeah, yes. I'm just going to pan round to you, Finn. Show us that, Finn. Hold it Hold up. Hold it up. So that's, so, that's the brushless version, it's, uh, it's quite a bit quicker, but a lot more expensive. So like double the, the cost. But uh, I think this is real value for money, so look it up um, for the price. Do you know something as well? Watching the two bikes race the other day, I don't think there's a lot of speed difference from what I could no, see. No, to be honest, uh, you're not going to use full throttle for very long. No, because, it's more down to the rider skill, nippy. I think. All right, shall we quick demo? Yeah. So there's a gyro in the back, a mechanical gyro. Get that going and it adds a huge amount of stability. Now, I'm not an expert, and it's, it is very slippery, I have to say. Oh. Oh. Yes. Whoa! Bit of a tank slap, they'd call that in the bike world. Would they? Yeah. The, the rider would normally get a... Uh, oh! Oh! I did oh. that the other day with my other one and bent the fork, so I'll just go and get it. Okay. Alright. So this is the brushless version. We look, it looks very similar going around. Not being um, road or turns are very good um, um, cyclists. Uh, motorbike rider. Oh, we've got the other one going. This is going to be carnage to try and uh, video. What I'll do, I'll stick with Dom's if you just try and. Um, Ride near Dom, we might get both bikes in the uh, footage. You'll get lots of wheel spin going through the going through the web. Oh, man, it's already wheel spin on like small strokes. Do you know what me and Dom were doing the other day? We were just uh, racing uh, circuits, but that um, was was quite good. And have you can try and follow Dom. Oh, we've got two bikes in view, that's good. Oh. You need to be gentle with the throttle, Finn. Yeah, do you know, say, that's a lot what lot of these uh, come into it. It's real throttle control and having the steering knack, isn't it? So it takes a lot of skill to do what, what we're doing. Might not look like it, but <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. Having to counter steer sometimes. Yeah. You just don't hold in the steering. You've got to release it after you've got the rider over on his side. So going to neutral as soon as it's over on its side and using throttle to determine how tight the turn is. Okay. Oh, we've got two bikes. Hey, oh, he's through. Uh, <laughs> not all about power. Oh, he won't know the meaning of that, Dom. His throttle's either on or off. There's no in-between. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Come on, get up. 
So there we go, they're the Mars motorbikes, the brushed version and the brushless version. I'll put the links for these in the video description and the pinned comment. But uh, we really enjoy these fins, good warm up before we do a bit of indoor flying while we've got the light in and out of the puddles and uh, just trying to learn how we do the steering before next year we uh, try and do it on track. I think that might be a lot more difficult, if not impossible. Uh -huh. But uh, there are some guys that do that. There is around the UK, there are six different tracks I think that they use to do. Uh, uh, what are these? I think they're something like 8th scale and 8th scale and 5th scale. There are larger versions that uh, guys use on track. But thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon on Essential RC and Flying Fin RC as well. Cheers. Bye. Adios. Adios.